What's up boss babes and welcome back to my channel. Today for the month of June, I am interviewing Jasmine Campos. She is the face behind Sugar and Sprinkles. Uh, she bakes cakes for all of DFW. So Jasmine, how did you get into cake baking? Well, actually, I just took a couple of classes, decorating classes, as a hobby, and um, from there, family just started asking for cakes, and from those parties, like, friends started asking for cakes, and it kind of just took, took off from there. So I didn't think it was going to become a small business, but I honestly feel super blessed that all of y'all like my cakes. They're super good, and... Your most popular one is buttercream, right? Yes, I do all buttercream. And I think my most popular cake is definitely my number cake. So this is my cake room and I actually have this built this little thing um, so I can keep my stuff organized. And these are some of my favorite um, brand gel colors and a lot of my cake toppers. And you know, it just helps me stay organized and um, I have glitters. Well, edible glitter, sprinkles of all colors. And I use a lot of these cutters to um, cut out my fondant details. And um, I just like to lay them out so it helps me stay organized and remember what I have. So I don't rebuy it because I've done that a couple of times. Over here, I also have a cake fridge that I use just for my cakes. Always invest in a fridge separate from your regular fridge so you don't mix your cakes with your regular fridge and you know it grabs smells so jazz what are you doing so i just printed my uh template for my number cake that i'm about to do and i'm actually going to do a c for chelsea um it's, it's her birthday today so we're going to make her a number cake or a letter cake and this is a board i will be using to put the cake so usually what i do is i just cut this um template out and I place it on my cake that I baked and I'll carve it out. And um, after that, I just decorate it, put it together and um, stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that. Hey guys, so here we have the template that we're gonna use to um, carve out the cake. And I have these two sheets of cake that I baked earlier and they do have to cool before you try to cut, try to cut the, um, the letter or number out. And always um, use a very sharp knife. That's all. Um, that's very important uh, so that your the carving looks very clean. So if you use a dull knife, it's almost going to crumble on you. So always use a sharp knife. So once you carve it out, you, all you do is take away all the excess bread and um, you can save that, eat it, throw it away, whatever you want to do. Um, it's up to you and I usually would just pick it up very gently and place it on your cake board. So once you're, you place it on your cake board, you just get your piping back and this is a Wilton 1A tip. And this is my favorite to use to pipe the little circles on there. And for my number cakes, I actually use whip. Um, I just feel like the buttercream is a little too overpowering. So um, my favorite frosting for my number cakes is actually whip. And um, these are actually, this is the only cake I actually use whip on. I don't do whip cakes, just buttercream. But um, if, you ever, if you ever order a number cake, then um, it, you just know it was made with whip. So I, I start with piping little circles and I go all around first and just make sure you get every little corner and um, just make sure, make sure it looks clean because presentation is everything. So now that we have that ready, we will add the second layer. You don't have to add a second layer. I just, I like to add a second layer. I feel like it looks nicer and um, fuller and it also will feed more people. So um, you just take off the template. 
and gently pick up your cake. And there's times when my cakes have broken on me and it's okay, you just try to place it on there and fix it, it'll be all right. Once you add the toppings and, um, and whip, you probably won't be able to tell. And now we're just gonna add the the top the whip on top. So now that we're done cutting and assembling the cake, um, now comes the fun part. I usually like to decorate them with fresh berries, fresh roses, or any type of flower, some chocolates, macaroons, and greenery. And um, I mean, this is really the part where you just you know, you let your creativity come out. Um, you can do it any way. You can add different toppings, sprinkles, uh, chocolate dipped strawberries. I mean, really anything you like. But um, so usually I'll, I'll place my flowers on here. And make sure you sanitize your flowers before placing them on there because you don't know where they've been at the store. So I guess I'll do one here. And Yes, girl. So now that we're done, um, you can leave it as is, but I always like to go ahead and add a little bit of edible glitter. Um, if, of course, if the client asks me to add glitter, um, or sometimes if it's like, um, if I know it's for somebody young, I'll just add it. I just love glitter, so anything I can add glitter to, I'm going to. So just sprinkle it on there, and your cake is ready. Okay, you guys, I want to give a huge thank you to Jasmine from Sugar and Sprinkles for teaching us how to make this number and letter cake. Jasmine, let them know where they can find you. So my Instagram and Facebook are both at sugarsprinkles17. Um, I would love for y'all to follow me. And um, I just want to give a huge thank you to Nanny for coming and recording this video for y'all. Hopefully it helps y'all and um, y'all learn from her or maybe you get inspired to make this cake for somebody. And thank you for everything. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.